So we're here at New Merch today, just enjoyed lunch. And our waiter, Brian. Namaste. Welcome to episode 15 of What the Bitcoin. I don't know if my voice is changing or if I'm losing it. I really need to drink like a lemon tea or something just nice and hot. And then when I get home, just take a nap and then just nail the world with a vengeance today. About Bitcoin. I don't even know what just came over me right now, but I'm serious. If not me, then who? We need to know how the world's taking a Bitcoin. Blue. Hey, Michael, what do you think about Bitcoin? I think, I don't know, it's kind of complicating. I mean, I'm kind of invested in a few cryptocurrencies. So I think it's like a new start for like a whole new generation of currency. But I don't know, I think it's pretty cool to be able to have like another form of like currency or cash or whatever to be able to spend money. And I think it really does give opportunity for those who missed out on Bitcoin with cryptocurrencies in general to still invest in them. Yeah. And be able to like flip their dollar somehow. Okay, so to you, um, cryptocurrency is a good way to invest, but more of a short term to get a quick gain. Is that what you're kind of putting down? Yes. Pretty okay, much. is that what you're looking to do with, with the market? Yeah. Like right now, I'm invested in a, like Ethereum. Be nice. Yeah, so that's what I was going for. But, uh, sorry, I'm a lot of breath. No, please, me too, man. I was just <laughs> running. I don't even have my voice. It's not a problem, man. Not a problem. Yeah. But I feel like Bitcoin is cool. It's a new generation. So it makes sense to change things to more of like a virtual networking company and stuff like that. When, when did you first hear of Bitcoin? I was probably about like 13 years old. Like a long time ago, whenever Bitcoin was just starting, my uncle was all like, hey, you're telling my whole family is like, Bitcoin's a new currency. It's gonna go big. We should all invest. Wow. Everyone thought he was crazy because 50 year old man talking about. And yeah, he was already like investing in it and he was trying to get us all on the bandwagon. Yeah. But at the time, we didn't understand cryptocurrencies because it was like new. Yeah. That was something that was just starting. So let alone eight or nine years ago when yeah. you were 13 <laughs> and your uncle who was 50 was saying hey he was looking at it as potentially a future what it is yeah, now yeah basically what it is now but yeah i don't know i mean i think it's pretty cool is so, he uh also a man of faith yes is he is he quite religious yeah i'd say he's quite religious i mean he's he's catholic he's I'm Catholic, so we grew up pretty religious. Yeah. Going to church regularly Sunday, the whole yeah. Holy Trinity and stuff like of that. Of course. My next question's in line with that, really. Mm -hmm. It's, do you think that cryptocurrency and blockchain has a touch of influence by, by God in any way? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I wouldn't, no, I can't. I can't say it does and it doesn't because like there's a lot of like all of cryptocurrency can be used for good there's all like bad that can come out of cryptocurrency of course like but my uncle done my uncle is my other uncles have done their own research and they found that cryptocurrency although it has like positive aspects also has negative aspects because it's a currency that can't be tracked yes and because it's a currency that can't be tracked it could be used for like cartel and stuff like that. Dollar bills that don't have serial numbers though. I mean, yeah. they do, but they're, once they get to paper form, they're difficult to track. Yeah, it's the same kind of with cryptocurrency. Yeah. So to say that it was a making of God, is kind of hard for me to say. Cause yeah. you, know, you don't really want to like, yeah. I mean, when we put that, like some religions already see money as evil and our religions are like, Money isn't evil, it's what you do with the money that makes it evil. Check out this BM, man. Man. I do think a lot of people are going to be creative. We're going to see a lot of um, wallet apps where you can you know, store your cryptocurrency, a better way to manage your crypto. I think that... Quick, cut, edit. Like, comment, subscribe, please. ...will be a next big thing. I know Coinbase is already there, but the fee they charge is really ridiculous. So I do see another competitor when this coming up. Hey, my name's Joshua. Your name, sir? Jacob. Jacob. And we're hard at work with a drone doing some architecture work. 
Yeah, some architectural photography. Awesome, man. That is beautiful, I gotta say. Well, Jacob, we'll get right to the business here. Yeah. What do you think about Bitcoin? About Bitcoin? Um, not sure, to be honest. I don't know that I know enough to have a real... Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you actually uh, probably know more than you're leading on, because my neck, when did you first hear about it? No clue. Can't, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Can't ascertain it to a, no. a, a time frame. No, years, I'm uh, obviously. Okay, do know. you have any idea like how it's affected society and, and things of that nature? Um, so far, I don't think it actually has affected society too much. Okay, can I uh, share a, a quick personal story? Sure. It, it affected me in that for the first time in my life, I don't know if it wouldn't have been for cryptocurrency, I would have started investing with my money. Yeah. And it got me investing at a, at a time a little bit younger for myself. I started learning what my dollars and cents can do for me. Yeah. You think that's pretty interesting, Jacob? Uh, I mean, on a personal level, I do. I think a lot of people have had similar experiences. Do you but, think that's an effect on society, though? But I don't. No. How is that not an effect if I would potentially ascertain wealth at a younger age because of that decision well, to invest an, earlier? You know, society, it, you know, if, if, if you were to ha have that experience. Yeah. And... and you were the only one. Oh, you were of a course. Limited yeah. Hit. Now, if we start seeing millions, tens of millions, I of, would say, of people having yeah. that experience. So no one's adopting. A, I, no, I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm just from, I don't know enough about it. I, I mean, see. I do, I do follow, uh, I, you know, I, I try to follow what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not enough to, to have I get a it. real. Bitcoin would be considered more of a, a good thing or more of an evil thing for society. Boy, I think it's way too early to tell. I think there are a lot of people who have strong opinions one yeah. way or the other. Yeah. I don't think that that's, I, I get both arguments. Okay. And I don't know that we have seen enough of where yeah. it's going yeah. to say that, you know, technology sometimes is freaky. Yeah. Right? And sometimes it is bad. Sometimes it's great and we just don't know it yet. Yeah, that's to my definition, that's like five out of five. This is like a two out of five for me. Two out of five? My goodness. Very tasty though. So we're here at New Merch today, just enjoyed lunch, and our waiter, Brian, Namaste. has decided to participate in uh, some questions today. Brian, what do you think about Bitcoin? Uh, Bitcoin, it's complicated. Um, it's, a, it's an investment that I really wish I had stepped in on when my friends uh, uh, told me about it first uh, back so many years ago, when it was only $27. And we were just thinking about using our video cards to start mining these things on the blockchain. Gosh, I wish I had participated. Do you, I, I feel the, the, the grief, you feel like you missed out? Yes, greatly. And, and because you learn so early on too. And, yeah. and you just, you miss such, such stuff like that. And that's a lot of money. I mean, it's, it's $56,000 uh, as of last night when I was taking a look at it. Yeah. I could use that money we, right now. We have to perceptualize though, Brian, to a slight degree. Uh -huh. Understand that I ask a lot of people every day, about four to five people a day about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Uh -huh. You're still very early. That's You're not late. Just get involved in Bitcoin, maybe put a little there and then start looking at altcoins. Uh, that's, uh, I've thought about that. Uh, right now I've actually, my, I've, I've jumped into the, uh, the uh, foyer a little bit, um, the pool. Uh, I'm experimenting. Don't laugh with Dogecoins right now. No, that's not uh, a laughable fact at all. I like it. Have I, you seen some money gains? Yes, yes, not much. I mean, 50 cents for the 100 shares. See how the market fluctuates and goes up and down and, and see if it's something that is viable for me later on if I wish to invest an actual real amount of money. Definitely. Are you still in touch with some of your friends that told you about it when it was $27 a coin? Yes, yes, I am actually. Are uh, they doing... They were, they're in the same boat I am. You know, they're, they're, they're friends. Uh, I worked for a software company at the time and uh, I was friends with many of the people in the tech department. Uh, and uh, several of those individuals invested, whereas the rest of us did not. We on the customer service level didn't. Yeah. And, and I kind of feel that that's, uh, 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 that, I guess that early knowledge of what the black ch blockchain actually was and how beneficial it would be for a currency, um, uh, really kind of, uh, they were able to take hold of that idea and run with it a lot sooner yes. than we were. Um, yeah. But um, um, now I've, I had one friend who's made a, over a hundred grand on it right now. Very good. Uh, now he only purchased a, a couple bitcoins, but he held onto those things, and even now he, he's uh, unwilling to sell. He's, he's wanted to wait for a, a good couple more years before he uh, tries to uh, let go of those things. Yeah, in line with your friend, is he a man of goals, or does he feel to be goal oriented at all? Uh, surprisingly, no. Okay, no. and then one last question. I'll let sure, you, sure. Do you think there's any chance, Brian, that Bitcoin is an influence of God by any way? 
Um, as is anything on the stock market, uh, yes and no. It's a roll of dice and God doesn't play dice. Hey, very good, Brian. Right, appreciate thank it. you so much for the thank time, so sir. Much. And thank you for watching episode 15 of What the Bitcoin PM. We do have now an AM What the Bitcoin daily broadcast. It's going to be brought to you by about 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., depending on what time I wake up. I've not held myself to any sort of accountability on that yet. It will eventually be a live stream in the morning. Once we start to get a little bit more affluence in terms of our subscriber count and viewership, where we'll be able to start taking live calls to my audio mixer. You guys can start educating me about Bitcoin a little bit, as well as, you know, taking people through the chat. I very much look forward to that. We also uploaded our first podcast today with Ross Sue spoke into grave detail. It's about a 47 minute video. So if this video didn't do enough for you, you'd like to continue hearing me speak with a guest that was right here. Feel free to please find that there on the channel, as well as many other videos. So we're going to be doing about two to three videos a day. I was going to do just the single. Now I've just like added 60% of a workflow to my day and we got it. We're going to do it. You guys deserve it. We, we all deserve to figure out what this world is doing with Bitcoin over and out.